Johnson Mlambo, a former leader of the PAC's military wing, has succumbed to COVID-19-related complications. He was 80 years old. Mlambo died in a Johannesburg hospital to which he was admitted on Friday. Mlambo was uh, secretary of the PAC's Davidson branch in 1960 after the banning of the party. He became active in the military wing's insurrection activities. Mlambo spent 20 years on Robben Island, maximum security prison. On his release in 1983, the underground leadership deployed him to join the PAC's mission in exile. Funeral arrangements are yet to be announced. Now, to tell us more about the life and times of the former leader of the PAC's military wing, Johnson and Mlambo, we speak now to Bishop Stanley Makoba of the PA, a PAC veteran. Bishop, a very good afternoon to you. Condolences to you and the friends and family of um, yeah. Mr. Mlambo. Uh, tell us about your reaction when you first heard the news. Yes, we received the news with great shock because I spoke to him not long ago and uh, I was not aware that that was the last time I spoke to him. Mm. When was the last and time you spoke to him, sir? Jonathan Malambo has had a long contact with me. This goes back to after Shopville massacre when the students all over were now standing up on their feet. So I had contact with the uh, Mr. Lambo from student days when he was doing matric at Kennerton High School in Pretoria. So I was his teacher there. And he was a student together with people like Judge Mussenegger. Mm. Yes, so they were students before Robben Island. We didn't know then that we all be taken to Robben Island. And, and indeed, that's what happened. We made in Robben Island again. So I just want to say that uh, we have had a very long contact with him. Mr. Mlambo, and first of all, I just want to say condolences to the family. And they are really shaken by this, as, as it shook all of us uh, who know him. And an outstanding man. And uh, as I say, I met him at Pendleton in Pretoria at the high school then. Yeah. You said, sir, that you recently had a chat with him. I, I just wonder, of late, during your conversations with him, uh, what did he make of the political and social, economic situation that South Africa is currently in? No, he, he, was, he was just worried about it, about the fact that the situation is not settling down and that she was having a very long struggle against the uh, apartheid regime. And uh, if I have to mention this particular one about him, that Mr. Lambo was uh, a prisoner on Robben Island who was taken by the waters and they dug a hole and tried to push him in the hole. Mm -hmm. And uh, but he survived that one and came out of it. And he is a great survivor, and his, his eyes eyes are, are still affected. One of them is, is not 100 percent recovered. But I just want to say that he, he he comes back many many years from that time. But I wanted to say also that you. You are not only a Christian Robin Island, but you are a leader. Mm. And uh, when he left Robin Island prison, he went into exile, exile. And when he was in exile, he was also a leader there. He turned out to be one of the heads of the PAC uh, who was heading the party in exile. So, I always remember 
how I used to phone him or he used to phone me from exile. I was out then also, yeah, and he used to phone me, and I used to say Pula, which means rain. Mm. And and because of that, he's a river. His name Lambo means the river. And when I talk about rain, it means water flowing into the and that was our, our secret code. So, uh, Mr. Malambo uh, shared a very important location with me uh, on the 31st of October uh, last year when the bishop of the Limpopo district organized a, a lecture in my honor. And Johnson was one of the speakers at this conference. Mm. And he spoke very well indeed, with a real, real, real mic. So I just want to say <clears throat> that uh, we have known him for a very long time. We had contact for a very long time. And uh, we are sorry that uh, he leaves us before we are a free people and a free nation. No doubt his passing has left a great void in your life and those who, who loved him and appreciated his work uh, for this country. Let's talk about that work and that effort and the struggle. Uh, you spoke about what he went through on the island in exile. Uh, what motivated him? Talk to us about his resolve. His resolve? Yes, as, as I say, he was a, he was a, a member of the, of the Pan-Africanist Congress as a student. And uh, when the police arrested all the people who were interested in, in the PAC, um, after Shabbe, he was one of those who were arrested. So when I got to Robben Island, I was surprised as a former teacher. But there, were, there I was with students, my former students with me. And we were together there, and we spent a long, long time together. Uh, I just want to say that uh, he was a very outstanding leader in there, and uh, he helped in the leadership of the students on Robben Island. Uh, we changed the prison into a school. And uh, he was one of those who helped uh, to lead uh, the, the student. I remember very well that one of the things he did, I remember, was that he, if, if, if we came across an old newspaper in Africa, he was one of those who were able to, to interpret it and share it with the prisoners. So that was where he comes from. And Tate Mahoba, we thank you very much indeed for giving us an insight, a window into the life and times of uh, Mr. Mlambo. And once again, our deepest, deepest condolences goes out to you as well as the Mlambo family. Be well, sir. God bless. Indeed. All right, that was Bishop Stanley Mokoba, uh, also a PAC veteran there.